So when you do shorter races, like day races, especially once you get into distance, you know the, the people, the experience, just the camaraderie, the, the sense of community that develops so quickly. And then also just the experience yourself of pushing yourself and seeing what you're really capable of. Yeah, yeah, like a bit of an adventure. It's, uh, it's brilliant just getting that uh, little touch of something at the start to get the adrenaline going. And everyone's, uh, you know, having a laugh and enjoying themselves. Uh, I've been looking forward to this for over a year now and now I'm actually here I'm just lost for words <laughs> what a beautiful place just look around it's just incredible and uh, the weather is perfect um, and this is my first experience and uh, I haven't even started running yet so uh, this is this is this is absolutely fantastic <laughs> I mean, this is why we, yeah, you just look around you and it's absolutely incredible. Um, there's this sort of mystic allure to Patagonia, which is, it's the main reason that, that drew me to this race. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's not hard to find motivation to be out here when you, when you just look around. Uh, the campsite is breathtaking, frankly. It couldn't be nicer. Um, so I'm very pleased to be here. The last one of these I did was Ecuador for the same reason. They are absolutely stunning locations and you get to see bits of it that you can't see any other way. I mean, that's one of the great beauties of this event. I cannot wait to get started. I left England on Thursday and I just want to get one in. So we've been through the long flight, registration, checking everything yesterday and then getting to first camp. So yeah, just want to get started, get one in. But the county and the mountains, uh, yeah, that's a wonderful. And the night it's cold, oh yes. <laughs> It's going to be a long day. Hey, <laughs> well, what happens when you're telling people about this race on the outside, they don't quite get it, right? And you're like, okay. You know why you're here? Everybody's got their own reason, right? But, but you already share something. Uh, you know, even before you meet them. We're coming here experiencing the way the first explorers experienced that. They came to this virgin place and that's how we're doing it. But me, running in this small old road with those people, all the 300 com uh, competitors and participants here, it makes me feel like I'm participating in something bigger than that. When you do a race like this and you actually walk, when you walk it, you, it's, it's hard to explain. You like, you, you earn the experience of this country, so to speak. Do you know what I mean? Like, you've, you've, you've walked it. You didn't just take a bus and get off and go, oh, look how pretty. You know, you, you, you earned it and you appreciate it a lot better. And it's just a far more intimate experience in visiting a place. The 
end of day one. It's been a good day. Very slow, but uh, steady. The scenery was more, it was more fantastic than, uh, than I could imagine. It was, it was phenomenal. So good morning and welcome to Racing the Planet Patagonia. My name is Thaddeus and we've just uh, finished yesterday stage one of our race and uh, today right now it's uh, day two, it's morning, we are in an incredible location, it's absolutely stunning scenery. It's a little bit cold this morning but all the competitors are up, they're re ready and they're raring to go. Patagonia is just beautiful and it, that was the reason I signed up for this race. As soon as I saw it was Patagonia, I was tempted. <laughs> there's all sorts of people. There's the people that are really crazy and go fast. And then there's the normal people, like the rest of us, <laughs> that just keep going. It's stunning, the Andes. Yesterday I saw a pack of wild horses running. It was beautiful. It's, a, it's an amazing course. Well, that's going well. It's a lot of hot day. Very hot, very dusty. Great course though. Really tough climb there coming up. We've got the CP2 here coming down now. I think we've got about 5k to the finish, so yeah, good day. Today was an epic day. You know, I think the, the highlight was coming down that steep hill in the CP2 and getting turned around and refreshed. And right to our right was this abandoned railroad track. Uh, that's it's been there for for a long time, and it looks like we only had, you know, we had five or six more miles to go, and we had this endless vista of railroad tracks that doesn't look like it's been run on for since the train stopped moving. Uh, you know, I, the thing I remember is my, my parents saying, "Don't play on railroad tracks," and here we are in the middle of Patagonia. Uh, really soaking it all in on a track, so pretty special, pretty magical day. So it's, uh, it's day three, beginning of day three. We're uh, a couple stages in, Team Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Um, we started out a uh, little bit of hills, um, some shorter stages. Today it's kind of a flat one, about 23 miles. You're starting to see a few folks uh, with some sore ankles, sore legs walking around camp. Um, today's pretty flat, but you know we've got a couple of hard days coming up here. It's been beautiful out here. These camps are awesome. Um, I don't think they could have picked it any better. Good weather so far. Uh, I think it's going to get windy maybe today and tomorrow, so we'll uh, we'll probably have the jackets on hand. Wonderful, beautiful day. Perfect temperature. Feeling strong and happy. Amazing. Look at this. Fantastic. Best one I've run ever. Stunning. You see the snow over there. I think that's the finishing point. Halfway to go, two hellish days and then we're done. Well, uh, we tried to cross this river behind us. 
you kind of got one or two choices. It's either take your shoes off like we did and enjoy the cool water soothing your feet, or we're coming about 140th, leave your shoes on and try and shoot for the front of the line, I'd say. So a few people have chosen to keep their shoes on and they're probably gonna have wet feet all day. And then the rest of us have just taken them off and just basking in the sun and letting them dry. Very good day for the life, for the for the enjoy, enjoying life. It is an amazing place. Stage four now, and we have very good luck because we have very good weather. Uh, but the problem is that that uh, sunshine that we have on the during daylight, uh, the snow is melting a lot. So the rivers are growing in a, in a way that is uh, terrible. So it's like very, they are very very high with a very strong current, and uh, so the runners will go back and forth, and they will see part of the entrance of Baguales, and then we go, we head, uh, we head off to uh, a new camp fight. Yeah, the body doesn't want to right now at all, so. But you know, it's 18 miles or so today. I can do it. Every day is a new day and it's intense and beautiful and amazing and I can't wait to just get into it every day. That was so cool! And the upside though, my knee got iced so I feel a little bit better. This is what we pay for, and I can't think of a better place to be than this, in a beautiful countryside, and amongst folks that share the same passions and, and ideals as, as I do, and you do throughout uh, our lives. come for the long march. The long march is the goal. You've got to get there with relatively speaking, okay, not so bad. And then you're going to put one foot in front of the other. And at one point you're going to whimper like a kitten, but you still have to go on. And, and then it's done. I think today's going to be a long day, it's going to be cold, but um, I'm really excited to just get this 74 under my belt and then we're close to the finish line. So yeah, yeah, I think it was three of us that I rode my hands off in front, so yeah, just try and pace it out. Don't go too hard too soon, get myself to the finish line. Today it's all about getting it done. <laughs> It'll be over in a less than a working day. So, you know, better than being in the office <laughs> at the moment. Okay, so I think this is checkpoint two to checkpoint three on the long day. 
it has been the hardest first two stages on a long day that I've ever done. This is my 11th race. It's very slippery and we're just going up, up, up. 700 meter climb in this particular section and we just are sliding in mud. First part of the long march, um, beautiful scenery. And like the checkpoints, they'll keep coming and I think they get closer together after this one. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful groomed trails. Probably the best trails of the whole run so far. Uh, past four miles, I mean, stunning views once we got to the top. You can't beat this right now. Everybody's doing well. Everybody's, you know, like a little bit cold, but you now able to continue. We are happy that everybody's uh, coming through. Tonight is a few more hours of uh, until until campsite, but it's gonna be cold and we're gonna march along. Today is my birthday, so I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Rainy, muddy, but it's okay. Or else you get to struggle like this. Push yourself and not live the luxuries. I feel like I just walked 45 miles. <laughs> yeah, it'll be alright. I'll make it to the finish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Roving race. We are right here at the finishing line. Dawn is just breaking. What an absolute stunner of a week that everyone has had. Breathtaking vistas, stunning landscapes, just beautiful scenery. Uh, this was the real Patagonia that everyone experienced. Yeah, it was special. I and mean, then the terrain was fantastic. We started off in sort of, you know, warm, dry, completely different to what we have in the background here now. Deserty almost terrain, sandstones and, and amazing, you know, outdoor blue skies, warm weather. And now we're up in the up in the mountains with a glacier behind us. Oh, it feels incredible. I'm very, very happy right now. <laughs> oh, I need to finish. That's pretty much sure. My body hurts, <laughs> but my spirit's high. I was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 28. So to be under 30 facing such a, re like a crazy regimen and um, just being pumped full of toxins, this moment means everything. I am so proud of myself that I did that. Like, it's crazy, like that track and those moments you go through. I just, I feel like without a breast cancer diagnosis, I don't, I don't know that I'd be here right now mentally and in a good solid state. So I really relied heavily on that. 12 hours in a chemo chair or 12 hours just absolutely killing it and just the most beautiful scenery. Exactly. We're going for a swim. That beautiful river, why not? Why not? Let's do it. I had a kid with